Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we will be seeing how to take this ordinary image of this boot and turn it into something professional that looks like this, which is e-commerce worthy. So we will be seeing two different tools in order to execute this. One is going to be Sellerpic AI and the other one is going to be Ideogram AI using its magic fill feature. We'll also compare which result looks better. But before we do this, one of the things that I want to address here is that how do you get an image like this one in the first place because that can also be a struggle for a lot of people. You simply may not be able to find or generate a reference image that you can use ultimately for the replacement. So there's a very simple process for this which I've shown in a couple of my videos before. I'll be showing you a paid tool for this and I'll be showing you a free tool also for this. But this process starts by finding a reference image first. And even for that, there are two ways, especially when it comes to e-commerce. Because the moment you think of e-commerce, one of the websites that straight away comes to your mind is Amazon. And to get your reference image, what you can do is just write the keyword related to your product. In this case, brown boots, female or women. Just go through the top results, the ones uh, that are selling the most and the ones that look similar to your product. For example, in this case, I can hit this one. And then we start seeing images that are already there, right? So something like this, let's say, now you can save such an image and this can be your reference image. And you don't have to worry about copyright issues because in the next step, we'll be generating our own image. This will just be the inspiration. So one is by going to Amazon, another one, Another approach is to go to Google, use Google images, type in the keyword brown boots photography women, and then you start seeing images like this. I like to even filter this down by going over to tools and then selecting the tone that I want. So I usually like to go for the dark tone, so I select black. And then you can see we start to see images in which the black tones dominate. And when I did this earlier on, I really liked this image. And then what you can do is just download it to your computer. Again, no copyright issues because we're not going to be using this image. So now the next question is, how do we turn this into our own image, which we can use without any legal issues for this? First of all, let me show you the paid tool, which is Ideogram. And then I'm also going to be showing you the free tool. So Ideogram's paid plan makes it very, very easy to do this simply because they have this upload image option, which just literally makes it a one click process. So what we are going to do here is we're going to upload this particular image. The moment you upload the image, you get this little window, you can hit the option that says remix. And then it's going to basically give a weightage to this picture. And at the same time, you can see this is amazing for context It's automatically going to give you a prompt by analyzing and describing this picture. So you literally don't have to do anything apart from just, you know, figuring out how close should the next generation be to your reference image, the higher the weight, obviously the closer is going to be. So let's say I keep it at somewhere around 70 and I hit remix. Now, you will see that the images that we start to get here, they will be extremely close since we've chosen a weight of 70. But there's one issue with this, which is if I just open this up, you can't change the aspect ratio. What if I wanted something more horizontal in nature? Well, then what you can do is, let's say I like this particular image. Well, I can go here and I can just open it up in the canvas. And then we can just basically outpaint using a single step. So I can just go to this option that says extend. I can select now my aspect ratio. So let's say I wanted to go for 16 is to nine. And if I just zoom out here on the canvas, it's automatically going to give me this frame, which is 16 is to nine. I can adjust it according to my own liking and then simply hit extend. It already has that prompt. So it knows the context and it's just going to add those extra areas. So let's just wait for this. Right, so you can see that we get four results very, very quickly. Of course, this doesn't look good because it just produced this hand, but in one of the results, you're gonna find something that is pretty good. So something like this, or probably something like this is fine. So this is the approach by using a paid tool, very, very convenient, but what if you don't wanna pay? So then the next option is to use a website called Crea.ai because they also have an image generator which allows you to do something which we saw in Ideogram, but this time on your free account, you get 50 daily credits that allows you to generate 13 free images daily, which is more than enough for this. So I've given the links 
to all the tools, by the way, that we have been using, but I've also given you the link to this particular page, so you can directly come here. And once you have created your account, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this option that says image prompt, and then we are again gonna upload our reference image here. All right, so here also you can see after our reference image comes, we get a similar sl slider that we saw in ideogram. So we can do exactly the same thing. Here, you don't automatically get the description of the image. That's not a big problem because you can always go over to a website like imageprompt.org. The link is in the description. And here I can go to the image to prompt section. Let's upload the original image. Now that the image is here, I can go to generate prompt. And then I can simply copy this, go back to Kriya and just paste it here just to give it the context. And this time I can actually even select the aspect ratio on the free tool. So sometimes that happens. So here I'm gonna go for four is to three and I'm just gonna hit generate. And you can see that using this free tool also you can quickly get these particular images. The only thing I would say is that you're using on the free plan a slightly lower version of the Flux image generator model. Flux is a great image generator model, but uh, when it comes to product photography, I've just seen uh, nothing really matches ideogram out there, but you can see that this also for a free software doesn't look bad at all. In fact, in this case, I would say it's pretty close when it comes to the quality to what we got with ideogram, but when it involves a face, usually it's not as good as ideogram. But anyway, now that we have this picture. So after I did all these things, I decided to use this particular picture. Now we move on to the next step where we are gonna see how seller pick performs at replacing with uh, this shoe with our own shoe. And then we're also gonna go back to Ideogram's magic fill feature and see how it performs. So let's do this first of all with seller pick. So once you go over to seller pick AI, you can try this out for free because on your free account, you get 20 credits and each of the generation will cost you four credits. We're gonna go over to this option that says AI model image. And then we're gonna hit this option that says virtual try on. I already made five days back a very detailed video on this where I showed clothes swapping. If you haven't seen that video, do check it out. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. Also, here we are obviously gonna use it for the shoes. So first of all, we're gonna hit upload image and upload the image of that bad looking shoe here. All right, so our shoe is here and the moment it analyzes this picture, it automatically changes some of the pre-made templates here. So either you can select that, but in this case, remember, we did all the effort to get our own image. So we're gonna hit the custom tab. We're not gonna use their templates and let's upload our image here. And the moment you upload your own image is just for context is gonna ask you some options here. So I'm quickly gonna select the right options and that's about it. I can now hit create. And then the next thing is gonna be very important, is gonna ask you to create a mask for the replacement. So we just have to make sure that we select the boots here. So we can just go on, either you can paint manually, or in these cases, when the picture is sharp enough, you can go to auto, just hit the boot here. And you can see the mask has come and something like this, but we need to remove the mask from here. So we can always go to the deselect option, hit this part on the skin and now we have the accurate mask here. We can hit confirm and that's it. You really don't have to do anything at all. We're just gonna hit generate. It's gonna cost us four credits and let's just wait for these results. All right, so our results are ready and just have a look at this. We get four results. But just look at this replacement. If you compare it with the original shoe, this is pretty much perfect even for a complex pattern like this because if you notice this part here, this is not easy to replicate. It exactly has done it and just look at the lighting. Cellopic AI undoubtedly is the number one AI tool when it comes to perfect replacement. If you're nitpicking, the only thing we can say here is yes, it has added this bit of a lace, there's not a problem. Seller Pick itself has an edit tab here and you can actually use a lot of retouching tools here with one click is just gonna get rid of that. But let's also see now how Ideogram performs at this because it also has a similar feature, which is the magic fill feature. So we are again back to the canvas that we had used earlier inside Ideogram. This time we're gonna upload both the images. Now that both the images are here, I'm just gonna quickly make sure that they are right next to each other. And like I've shown a couple of times in my videos, we're gonna hit the magic fill feature and then the next task will be to just quickly select whatever is it that you wanna replace. So right now I'm only gonna do it for one of the shoes because I've already tried this and like I've mentioned a couple of times in my videos, 
For certain types of products, magic fill is amazing, especially bottles, things that have text, some sort of a product with a label. There it works perfectly, but when it comes to clothes and things with complex patterns, it just doesn't do always a very good job. So now this, now that this is done, we're gonna hit next. Now we just, for context, we need to give it, uh, we need to tell it what's on the left and what's on the right. So I'm just gonna type in on the left is, and we need to be descriptive above this. So we can go back to our imageprom.org website. And this time we can upload the image of the boot here. And again, go back to generate prompt and just copy this descriptive prompt that you're gonna get here. Once we've copied this, we're gonna go back here. So we're just gonna paste this here. And then for the right image, we don't really have to be too descriptive. We can say on the right is a, a professional shot of a brown boot. And that's about it. The last thing that you just need to do is make sure you move this frame. It needs to encompass both the object and the mask. So that is the case now. And then we're simply going to hit magic fill. And let's wait for the results here. All right, so the job here is done. And you can see that this also doesn't look bad till the time you start to really compare both the images here. So just look at this heel here. This was not black, but ideogram can make these changes a bit. So it has changed the color here. Then if you notice the pattern right at the end here where my mouse is moving, just see it has added those extra lines. And this can be a big deal for someone who's doing this professionally. Whereas if we go back to the seller pick, replacement, you can see that this was pretty much perfect. It didn't change the color. It didn't produce that extra pattern. This was as close to the original as possible. So like I said, there's no doubt that seller pick currently is the best for a perfect replacement. So in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments in the AI image and video editing world, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.